lipids. Of course, why lipid is bad? Because it's hydrophobic. <laughs> so it traps the hydrophobic proteins there and, and clogs actually the um, the IPG strip. And um, so it's it's bad. And uh, to remove it, it's very easy, very easy. Because you just just use um, solvent extraction precipitation because these lipids can be soluble in acetone. And so you can just use acetone, remove most of them. And of course, uh, you can use, uh, try to use detergent to, to make the lipids, to break limit, lipids into small uh, micelles. That will also help, but uh, usually people try to stay away from that, okay? 4% traps may help you to deal with detergent, in, in other words. Any other, any questions? Okay. Nucleic acid, why it's, why it's bad? It's huge. It's huge. It's, it's, it's too big. It's cocks, the, uh, the strip. And it's highly charged. Okay. So, to, to break this, and the, the uh, most efficient way is to chop them into really nucleotides, small ones. Once you chop them into nucleotides, they are soft. So you can use precipitation method to just get rid of most of them, okay? Now, if you don't um, want to do the enzyme treatment, then you can use ultra centrifugation because it's big. You remove most of them. Or use mechanical disruption, sonication, to break them into small pieces. It, uh, it, it helps in a certain degree, but my favorite approach is just, you know, give it, give it a treat. Yes. Yes. Yeah. How is that DNA? Yes. Is it clear? All right. Sugar. This is, uh, this is a headache because sugar is unpredictable. It can be very short, it can be extremely long, and um, can be charged very sticky and uh, anything you know bad you can name it about sugar and um, so for the big ones you, you definitely can try to spin it down um, precipitation I don't know how 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 efficient it is okay I got the mixed uh, uh, feelings with this also mixed feedback from uh, mis mixed uh, opinions from my friends in the field, and uh, people. There, there are a few methods um, talked about uh, in the literature and to remove uh, the polysaccharides, and the TCA, TC acetone uh, precipitation may help to a certain degree. But I, I have to warn you that this probably isn't the full story. You, you can still have to deal with um, sugar problems. Okay. Of course, I didn't mention um, enzyme treatment as well. If you are not focusing on glycosylation, use Indo-F or Indo-H. Just chop it off. Then that will make your protein more soluble and easy to deal with and easy to, um, to separate on IEF process. Okay. Finally, plant specific compounds, dyes. When I, I used uh, Arabidopsis and uh, spinach as well, TCA acetone, that's the, the common approach. That's what I, I, I've been told in the field. And that's the best way because you remove most of these um, uh, interfering compounds already. I remember we got really green stuff from, from the acetone, uh, uh, in the acetone phase, that tells us. Uh, and then in the pellet phase, it's just white. It tells you that m most of the chlorophyll has been removed by acetone treatment. So if you look at all these uh, 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 resolutions to dealing with the interfering substance, precipitation is really efficient, remove most of the substances. And this is going to be the way I recommend you to do to treat your sample. Okay. Finally, SDS. Try to stay away this 
because you know the reason we have SPS to make the proteins <laughs> highly negatively charged, right? So to remove SPS is important in this in this in two D study. Stay away from SPS. And of course, if you do have SPS in there, don't worry too much. PCA isotope precipitation will remove it efficiently. Okay. Solution. This is right there. The Ready Prep 2D cleanup kit to treat this. So advantages improve the resolution, less streaking on 2D because you removed uh, the substance, uh, interfering substances, remove this, and um, you can. It, it is highly. Uh, the protein can be recovered very well because we use very strong buffer to resolvize urea, diurea. Another advantage is concentrate uh, diluted samples. If you have really diluted samples, you precipitate the pellets and you, you can readjust the protein concentration to make it suitable for your for your study. Drawback is still any any process you do to your protein sample will introduce protein loss. So you need to be consistent from tube to tube, from experiment to experiment to make it uh, less uh, variant uh, to your study.